Welcome to Rockco TV. In this video, you will learn how to apply rock coat marble trowel on. Marble trowel on is available in a range of colours as displayed here and also available on our website. These colours are created using different coloured marble chips from around the world. Stu from the Rock Coat Colour Department will explain the different selection options for marble trowel on and demonstrate how to apply it using the 0.5 to 1mm stone in the colour Kaji as an example. You can go up to 3 or 4 mil stone chip. It just, you can mix colours together. We try to only keep it, say, say blend two colours together. White's only good for inside. Okay. We don't recommend using white outside. Other colours, fine. Do them wherever you want. In this video, we will explain the four steps you need to know when applying marble trowel on. Step one, to prepare the substrate and apply the suitable base coats. Step two, mix and apply the marble trowel on. Step three, is to retrowel the surface if necessary. And step four is to apply two coats of armour clear. Stu and Cole, both from the Rock Coat Colour Department, will walk you through these steps. The tools that you'll need to apply marble trowel on include a trowel, a hawk, a spray bottle filled with water, and a paint roller. Step one is preparing the substrate. Depending on which substrate you are working with will depend on what base coat you will need. Please contact the Rock Coat Technical Department for a specification for your project or for advice on what base coat to use if you are unsure. After application of the base coat, you will need to apply a tinted coat of Rock Coat Tex Prime. It is important that this is tinted to a similar colour to your selected marble trowel on, just in case it shows through. Ensure that you mix your marble trowel on before you apply it to your substrate. I may not have as much watery stuff on top, depending on how long it's been sitting around for. It's already ready to go, it just should be just stirred up before you use it really. To apply, load up your hawk or trowel and trowel onto the pre-prepared substrate at 1.5 to 2 times the thickness of the stone. You just get a nice even coat. From start to finish is just with the steel trowel like this. You just make sure you get it on nice and you smooth it off. If it starts to tack off on your trowel like that and you went back there to touch it, you'd probably tear chunks out. Yeah. So you do have to sort of keep your trowel clean and, and wet. Once you have applied the marble trowel on, have a look at your work and if there are any visible trowel marks, you can wait approximately one hour depending on the substrate and come back for step three. However, it's not necessary to come back for step three if you are happy with your work. And remember, do not attempt to retrow if three to four hours have passed since the initial application of your marble trowel on. It's still quite soft. You can see that. It's still, it still is quite soft. Now, if I didn't wet my trowel, it's not bad on that, but see it'll drag in places. Before you begin retroweling, wet the trowel. Ensure to keep it wet the entire time. You can also wet the wall if you like. Do a little spray on the area that you want to touch. And then your trowel will just glide over. And it gets rid of any other trowel marks that you might have. You can see it's sort of dragging in places. That's because I haven't put a bit of water on it. Go all the way from top to bottom. It just sort of flattens it off more. Like I said, as the, the marble base starts to dry and suck back, mm. it leaves the, the marble chip proud, if you know what I mean. And it just sort of tightens it up. And so you then, when you put your, your armour clear on it, you finish up with a smoother sort of surface. After approximately 48 hours, when the substrate wood moisture equivalent is down to 15% or lower, the marble trowel on will be ready to overcoat with armour clear. Armour Clear needs to be applied evenly, just like normal paint. You need to ensure that you work it in enough to get into all of the grooves and divots between the marble to provide a proper protection for the marble trowel on. Ensure that your coat is even throughout and lightly tip it off as you go. Tipping it off helps get rid of some of the roller marks and also assists to work the Armour Clear into the grain. Cole is demonstrating this here. One of the most important things to remember is to keep a wet edge to reduce the risk of picture framing. 
To do this, minimise the time between cutting in a border and working the main wall area so that the cut-in areas are not allowed to dry. Also ensure that you don't get too far ahead of yourself with the armour clear on the wall to reduce the risk of it drying before you get back to what you have already done. After you've completed your first coat of armour clear, wait until it's dry, which will take approximately four hours. Then apply your second coat of armour clear using the same method described here. That's the one that we've just troweled out. That's what colour it will dry out to. You know, at the moment you have all of that, that whiteness from the marble base. Once that dries back clear, then the, the actual colour of the marble comes out then. Once it's on there it's, and it's got two coats of armour clear over it, it's as good as any other finished coating, you know, for protection and that. Basically you've got two millimetres of, one to two millimetres of marble. It's a good coating. If you would like more information about Rock Coat Marble Trail On or any other Rock Coat products, please contact us on our toll-free number or send us an email.